Yo guys, Shadow Gaming here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you me finally getting Dark Matter. Now, right at the start here, there's a bit of confusion what class I was going to pick, and you guys might be a little confused of why I'm using the Elkar, but I was really lost yes earlier on today. Basically, I was using the Black Cell. I, it was so difficult, I have to say, it was definitely the most annoying thing to do, considering it was last as well, because the enemy team could just not get a Cerberus against me. But eventually they got Cerberus, I destroyed it, I thought I got, you should, my reaction was crazy, I thought I finally got Dark Matter, turns out I didn't. I looked at all my guns again, and realised I still needed 8 long shots in the Elkar. So anyway, last the previous game, or a few games before this, I do get up to 8 out of 10 on this. This game, I need 2 more, and I do get it. You'll see right near the end of this video, I, can't, I get it, and you'll see all of it pop up. Up, so you will see me eventually reach it, but unfortunately this is not the best gameplay considering I'm trying to go for long shots with an automatic pistol, so that is really unfortunate. I would like I would have liked this to be a better gameplay, but right at the end I do kind of turn on with this, and um, Shadow Knight does get a 5 man fee with the gravity spikes. So uh, yeah, I am playing with Shadow Knight and Shadow Primal today. Um, if you guys haven't been seeing Shadow Primal around in our videos, he's been playing a lot of GTA recently, um, which could kind of help us out if we're going to do the Criminal Mastermind sort of challenge, but anyway... In this video, this is me playing Uplink on Nuketown. Not one of the best maps, and uh, not one of the best modes, sorry, for kills in my opinion. But um, anyways, I do get quite a lot of throws. I'm practicing my shots actually, and I finally have learnt how to get this Uplink ball on this side over the building into the orange spawn, into the orange Uplink goal. I can never do it, and I finally just got it today. I've literally learnt earlier on this morning today. I finally got it. So today I'm using the hive, uh, not the hive, the rejack gear. Now if you're wondering why that is, it's not because I've, I'm trying to get hero gear. I've actually done that too. So now I've got two things to show you. And I'll be showing you at the end of this video of me showing you all the hero gears for all of the characters. Now I'm using hive because basically I'm now trying to get 100% completion on multiplayer challenges. Now that is exactly why my streaks are low as well. And that is why I'm using different perks. On this class I'm using per perks like blast suppressor and... Um, and dead silence and awareness, and they're just not for public match stomp, uh, for pub stomping. So that that is kind of annoying. And that's kind of why I don't do as good. I'd rather use tactical mask or something that help me out for perk three. But I'm trying to get my perk three challenges done and all that type of stuff. And my score streaks. I don't want to use any score streaks that um, get me kills anymore. I want to kind of, I want to kind of go for ones I've never used before. I never used the hunt sentry. I never have ever used the power core or the rolling thunder as well. You might see a few challenges pop up if I get a rolling thunder in this game. I can't really remember if I get streaks because it's not really a good gameplay. But anyways. At the start, I started off really bad, and then right near the end, which I get into it, and I hope you guys do enjoy that. But um, anyways, my accuracy is also really off, and if you're wondering what that is, I was up really late last night. I think it was half five in the morning, 5.30 5 a.m. BST, I uh, went off last night. Me and Shadow Knight was playing up really late. Um, he was he got to Prestige 7, finally. Um, we, we we did another attempt at the Easter egg again, finally not, last night. This uh, We just don't know how to do this, guys. I mean, last night we got... I think we had to kill one more panzer and all of us literally went down. If you guys know how to do the easter egg, you know the full guide. If you guys know how to do the last part and the gatekeeper part, you'll understand. And if you have tried it or you have done it, put a comment down below of any tips you can suggest for us because we can just literally not do it. We will do it though. We will get it done for you guys and we will bring you a video. I don't know how long it will be because I can't guarantee it will be soon. Considering next week I go back to school. I actually go back to school on Tuesday. Most of the clan does. Um, so that means I have to be doing a lot of revision um, at a time at school. So it's going to be quite hard to get the daily uploads. But we will try our best to get the daily uploads. Um, but anyway, last night I was up really late. I was just shadow night. We made a deal with each other. We're both basically, last night was... Um, we're trying to get a load of stuff out of the black market, but what we said to each other, and what Shadow Knight told me, is he's not going to spend any more crypto keys. Because there's a rumour going around that apparently um, there's a, a 60... Uh, basically a few weeks ago, or a, few, a month ago or something, the Treyarch gave everyone a 60 crypto key bone... Um, they gave a new supply drop sort of thing in the black market for 60 crypto keys, which gave you specifically just specialist wet stuff. And I think that there's a rumour going around that it's, there's going to be the same thing just for guns. So... I'm basically saving up. Right now I think I'm on 159 or something like that. And I'm um, just going to keep saving up pretty much. It's really tempting to spend them considering I want to try to get the HG40 or the MX Grand. But anyway, I will keep saving up. Anyway, earlier on, um, considering it's Liquid Divinium Double XP weekend as well, um, we have been doing a lot of zombies. Earlier we went for a high round, me, Shadow Knight and Shadow Hammer. We went for a really high round, tried to get in um, just pretty much the size we can. Um, so we got to round 40 it was, and then four panzers spawned in. Panzers are literally just our weakness. I mean, I use the wolf bow, which is not the best thing against the panzers, so it's really unfortunate when I am the last guy with them, which is exactly what happened today. 
Um, it got really tense and it was just really fun. We didn't we didn't really care at all when we died. It was really fun. We um, I think I got eight crypt uh, d liquid diviniums that game, and that got me a percolic on the house phoenix up. So I was really happy about that. So I've got a load of good stuff, which is really good because, like I told you guys, we're trying to save up all our gobble gums for the next DLC, which yet we haven't been given any news on or about the release date of when that is going to be. And if anyone is watching this and they are playing PS4 and they do play PS4 on COD, uh, you guys are lucky because you will get a month earlier than us. But it's not too much of a bother because I've got, I want to try to get into other games like Division and stuff considering I've got a lot of new games I haven't played so I need to try them out. But anyway, uh, this gameplay, as you can see, I'm kind of clutching up now. I think I get it in a se any second now. I watched the spawns with this. I was thinking, should I do it, should I not? Because I kind of wanted to get this last long shot with a good gameplay. But, you know, I just thought, why not? I just can't bother. To, I want to get this gameplay up. I want to get this video to you guys, and I want to show you guys the hero gear. So I just thought I'd do it. Um, I start, kind of start getting back at it now. I don't I don't think I get my streaks at all. But um, I think it's just now. I wait for this guy around. This, he's in the spawn. I think it is now. Um, I do get Dark Matter, and you'll see all the XP popping up. He will come around in Seki Peaks. Um, anyway, you'll see it happen. I do get it, and... The reaction wasn't amazing because I've already got it before, but I had to restart my game when I've done it before. Um, so it was really annoying. But anyway, here it is. This is me reaching Dark Matter. I will show you after this video, right at the end of this video, of me getting Hero Gear. And that is both Dark Matter and Hero Gear completed now. So that is two le two big things of this game uh, out of the way. Now all I've got to do now is the 100% completion and getting rank 1000 on Precious Master. So I will do that as well. I will try my best to do that, in fact. But anyway. Um, we, I just want to talk to you guys about our UMG and how that's going. Um, we haven't been playing it at all recently for the last five, six days. That, that is due to Shadow Sakan going, who's just gone off early. In fact, he's actually just got back today. He's had some news for us, I'll tell you that about that in a sec. And Shadow Legacy, um, other Connor, Connor with a C, his name is spelled with a C, and Shadow Sakan spelled with a K, he's Connor with a K. That's how we say it. Um, anyway, Shadow, um, both of them are both on holiday. Um, Shadow Sakan got back today. He had some news for us. Um, his news was that he apparently is now starting to play Halo, which I mean, he is a, he loves his competitive gameplay and, and that kind of means if he's going to stop playing Halo, he might start getting competitive or going competitive with Halo. And I mean, that would be really cool if he got his own team on there or if someone, if other members on this clan went on to Halo, we had two teams sort of thing for Halo, for COD, that would just be really cool. That would be so fun. Uh, that would be all different type of new interesting stuff we could learn about anyway. So that is the news in the clan recently. Um, other than that, this isn't my best gameplay, sorry about that, but I did reach Dark Matter, I haven't really got much else to say, I'm really tired after staying up really early. I actually woke up at 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock this morning and I started doing revision, because I just wanted to get out of the way so I had the whole day ahead of me. I was actually doing revision till 1 o'clock, so I was doing it for about 3 hours this morning, 3 to 4 hours, and it was really long. There is the 5 man by the way, it was Shadow Knight getting it, um, he was really hyped about that. I practiced my shots, look, there you go, that's the shot I'm learning on. Um, this one's easier than the orange side, in my opinion, so it's alright. This is where I kind of like get get my clutch up, sort of thing. A bit unfortunate that I die there. But anyway, I kind of get better here. I've almost done this this um, the challenge with this rejack, so eventually I can start using Scythe again, because Scythe is probably the best specialist I reckon for getting kills. Right now, I'm just going to skip ahead. I kind of just, there you go. That's the scoreboard, didn't do good. good. But anyway, here's Hero Gear for every single character and every single class and specialist. That is the Outrider, and it goes all the way up to the end, and you'll see me show you all of them. But guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and did enjoy me getting, showing you me getting Dark Matter, and showing you this hero gear for all of all out. Hope you guys have kept up to date with our news. Um, always remember, I am being really prepared to this, but look down in the description down below for, um, for the Twitter link, and don't forget to subscribe and like, boys. I'll see you later.